If prime rib is on your holiday menu this year, you might be looking for a few tips on how best to cook your prime rib in convection using your Thermador ovens. We've experimented with several different recipes over the years, and today I'm going to give you three different methods that we find really work well. Now, the first method involves starting with a high temperature. You choose the convection roast mode, 500 degrees, and you're going to set the timer for 15 minutes. In that 15 minutes, you will have a little bit of rendering of fat, you'll have some crisping and browning, and after 15 minutes, drop the temperature to 200 degrees and still stay in the convection roast mode. Now remember, with convection, the heat circulating evenly around the oven and gently pushing the heat into the meat. In this method, when you cut the meat, it will be entirely pink all the way through. Just the crust will be nice and brown. If you use this method, be sure to plan a resting time of at least 30 to 40 minutes prior to carving. If your oven has um, a meat probe, you can use the meat probe for assistance. But if you don't have a meat probe, then refer to the chart in the blog post for timing. Now the second method is quite similar. It also involves low temperature roasting. But in this method, we cook the meat at 200 degrees without starting at a high temperature. Once the meat has reached the internal temperature we're looking for, we actually take it out of the oven and we rest it, again for 30 or 40 minutes. It won't look terribly pretty, but the finishing step is to place it in a very hot oven. You can use 400 degrees convection roast or 425, and it only needs about 15 minutes. And in that time, the fat renders, the skin crisps, it gets that beautiful just roasted look. Again, the meat in this method will be totally pink throughout. Now the final method is using a higher temperature for the entire cooking time. We often use 350 convection roast. And in that temperature, remember the heat circulating around the meat in evenly and cooking from the edge to the core. Because the temperature is higher, the edges of the meat will be browned. In other words, they'll be more well done. But the center will still be nice and rosy. If you use this method, you can finish with a touch of high heat again to render fat and just give a lovely crisp look. And of course, plan to rest the meat for at least 30 minutes prior to carving. Now when you're roasting prime ribbon convection, remember, the most important thing is to get the meat on a rack in a shallow pan. And the reason we do that is as the pan gets hot, it leaches too much fat or moisture out of the meat. And this way you preserve the moisture in the meat. I like to use the oven broil pan because as the fat drops into the pan, the slats in the broil pan kind of keep the fat from splattering all over the oven, especially at that high heat phase. Any way you choose to cook prime ribbon convection, you're going to have great results. Remember, the meat shouldn't be too cold when it goes into the oven. Estimate the timing and also add on that resting time before carving and you'll have great results.